what's up guys so here's a um, here's just a quick walk around video um, of my bike this is my FZ6 I've had this bike for seven years now almost to the day and um, I've made a, a, lots of different videos on it but I figured I'd just do a quick one or just an overview video of how 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 this bike has been because I've had it for a decent amount of time now so it really was the the first real motorcycle I got I've had I had a couple dirt bikes before this and um, stuff that wasn't really reliable a lot of like kickstart dirt bikes and older kind of piles of junk that I had when I was in my late teens and um, I guess early early 20s um, but this bike, I've had it for, for seven years. I bought it with about, uh, I bought it with 8,700 miles on it. It did have a, uh, a rebuilt title on it. Um, it was, the guy that I bought it from, um, it was dropped. It has a little ding here. And then a little bit, there's a little small amount of oil, just so small that comes out of this bolt here because this bolt broke off um, I haven't had any real problems with that you know it, it the bike now has 36,000 miles on it so I bought it with 8700 and it has 36,000 miles on it now so I've put about 27,000 miles on this bike a little over 27,000 miles on this bike what have I had to do with it? Um, pretty much nothing. I, I've had to put two new sets of tires on it. The tires, um, when I got it, had were pretty much new. The guy had replaced the tires. Um, so I got about 10,000 miles out of the first set of tires. I got um, 15,000 miles out of the second set, roughly. And so these tires are, are pretty, these tires are new. They have you know, a little over 2,000 miles on them now in the past month, month and a half. Um, I just did clean the chain. I didn't, I hadn't really cleaned the chain that thoroughly um, ever. I lubed the chain and, and you know, kind of casually just washed it off. But I, I bought a brush and I got in there and I cleaned every, uh, every, uh, every tooth on there. And so it looks a lot better. It really looked pretty rusty before because there was a lot of dirt and, you know, uh, father time just takes the toll on the on the chain there. Again, I made a video about this bike, comparing it to the uh, R6 a while back, and um, it's 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 such a good bike, you know, because it's it's cheap. Um, there's the maintenance is so easy on it. There's none of that there's none of that fairing crap on it, so you don't have to worry about. Uh, uh, taking off a bunch of fairings to, to do your basic maintenance. It has a center stand on it, so I can jack this thing up right now on the center stand to just show you how easy it is. Um, it does take a little bit of strength to do. There we go, got a little one. There we go. So it's on the center stand, so you can do things like uh, maintenance your chain because you can you can fully roll it. So you can lube it, you can clean it, um, you can take off your tires um, with this center stand here, and um, um, yeah. So um, none of the none of the sport none of the sport bikes have that. They don't have a, a center stand. Um, you have to get those special stands to just jack the bike up. Um, I haven't done a valve adjustment. Um, I know you're supposed to do them, I think, every 26,500 miles, is, I think is what the, the book said. I was considering doing it, but I didn't want to spend $500 um, to do it. Um, that was going to be the, the cost. To, and most of the time, I looked at a bunch of forums. Most of the time, they say they're in spec, and you really only look at them if you start to notice you know, power loss or a hard time starting or um, something weird happening. So none of that stuff has really been there for me. I did have, I have, I've had to replace the battery once, only once. So the battery that I had in it, um, the battery that I bought it with was pretty much lasted about uh, five years. And um, 
and that could have been the original battery I don't know and then I put a I put like a 35 or 40 dollar battery in it and it starts up every time I haven't had to uh to, to replace that I've had it for almost three years now um so yeah it's like I said I change the oil every uh every 3,000 miles and it probably takes a half hour to do that whole job and it you know if you you could probably do it quicker you could probably do it in 15 minutes if you really wanted to um it's one drain plug I can even show you where it is and I think it takes like 3.6 or 3.8 quarts, I want to say. But your oil filter's right here, and so you can um, you can get to that really easy with just a basic oil cap uh, wrench, or you can use one of those. I think you can use one of those just wrenches that grabs it. Um, and then the drain plug's right here. I think it's a 17 millimeter drain plug. Um, the radiator fluid, I've changed it. Um, I think I've changed it twice um, and it's, it's really simple to do as well I mean the drain the drain plugs I think it's somewhere in here I'd have to watch the video again because I haven't done it in a few years and then obviously your fill caps right there um, and I haven't done anything with the brake the brake fluid I've changed the pads um, I've, I've changed the I think I've changed both sets of pads one time um, I know I've changed the fronts because I took these stupid fucking reflective things off because those things are a bitch to get back in in there. Um, let's see, is there anything else really? No, I mean, and again, I paid $2,800 for this bike in 2013. So the bike was six years old. It had 8,700 miles. I paid 2,800 bucks for it. This bike, as it sits, is probably worth at least two grand. Um, I, I, I would never sell it because it's worth way more to me than, I mean, $2,000 is nothing if you consider, you know, what, what decent transportation is. I do probably need to clean a little bit more of the back side of this chain that I'm looking at it now. It's kind of hard to access it without, like, taking it off. But you need to get in there with the brush and clean that up. But yeah, this bike is probably still worth maybe 2500 bucks to the right guy. And I bought it for 2800 and I've put um, 27,000 miles on it. So I'll probably be at 50,000 in, uh, in a couple years. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the basic overview of it. I mean, I can show you guys the speedometer here. There's not, it's a pretty, pretty basic, pretty basic bike. Um, 36,017 miles. Um, I don't beat the heck out of it. I, you know, I, I rarely go over like 80 miles an hour. I d rarely go over like 8,000 RPMs. Sometimes I do, but not really consistently. I just kind of ride this bike for, for just, just to be out on the road. And I'm not really like a speed racer. So if you're looking for just a great bike to probably don't want to get it as your first bike, just because it does have more power than um, obviously 250s and 500s, but just a solid bike for someone that you're not gonna get in trouble on and you can put a lot of miles on and the maintenance is very easy and it's cheap, right? This is a great option. Um, so that's the video. If you guys have any questions on or anything or, or you know, have, if you have a FZ or Phaser yourself, let me know how many miles on, are on it. Let me know um, what type of maintenance you've done. Maybe you guys have done different different maintenance than me. Different, uh, maybe you have checked the valves or maybe you've had problems um, with yours that I haven't or vice versa. So anyways, let me know. And uh, yeah, you can like the video if you want, I guess that, uh, kind of shows me people are watching it. I don't know. It's hard to tell without or, or comment. I'll, I'll try to uh, I, I, I'll try to respond to every comment. I like getting some uh, some feedback on people that ride. So anyways, um, you guys have a good day and and uh, and be safe.